Hey y'all, what's up? How's it going? Welcome back to my channel. So I know I told you I was going to give you this video a long time ago, but I had to wait on it because I needed my stylist to be in the video as well. So I went to go see her for my fourth round of the STS treatment by Design Essentials, which is a treatment that is only available in the salon. Also kind of confusing to understand because it's not like any other treatment out there. And instead of me trying to explain everything about this treatment, because I just did not feel qualified to do so. <laughs> I asked my stylist to break it all down for us and to take us through step by step on how we actually use this system on my hair. And also with coloring my hair and going blonde basically, I needed that extra strength which the STS system provides. So go ahead and continue watching this video and if you have any other questions about this treatment, feel free to reach out to my stylist, Olivia Davis. You can find her on Instagram at oliviadavis.hair and also she is on TikTok. I will put both of her usernames here. So definitely reach out. She is based in the DFW area, technically in Arlington. So keep on watching. Hey y'all, so I'm here with my stylist, Olivia. She's hey. about to put in an STS treatment. And to start us off, what are we using? Like how is this system, start from the, start from the top. Cool, so it's a three-part system, um, and it's been consolidated over the years. So what it consists of is actually the cleansing shampoo, which is technically the first step. Um, then which we foam. did that? Yes, we already did that. The hair is clean, it's cleansed. Um, it is a sulfate-free based uh, shampoo, so it's not uh, harsh on the hair at all. The second part is, it's the foam which is a smoothing mousse. Um, remember, the system is not a chemical, so it's actually protein and amino acid base. Um, there's actually a specific amino acid in it that does elongate the curl pattern, but as you can see, like with my hair, So I you have, have it, it in your I hair? Have, yes, five years I've had it. Oh my goodness, so, so you're, you have it in your hair right now? Yes, absolutely. And so clearly you your the, curl texture is yes, still there. still there, it's intact. Again, it's not a chemical. It is a treatment that simply penetrates that cuticle and goes into that hair, but the, the inside innermost part that is um, affected by chemicals is not affected. Okay. So it's a temporary change, but it does have long lasting results for up to 12 weeks. Okay. So the foam is gonna be the second part. We'll comb that in, um, comb it through the hair. And then we have the third part, which is the sealant. Um, after the mousse is combed in throughout the hair thoroughly, you do spray the sealant just to seal everything in, and that's combed through as well. And then we, do we sit under the dryer at that point? Yes, we sit okay. under the dryer just for a little while, move that into the hair, and then we follow it with a smooth blow dry, and then we push it as deep as it can go with heat. That's when okay. you use the flat iron. Now that area is adjustable. Okay. So with clients who do specifically wear natural curls all the time, it can be tweaked. Oh, okay. So you can, use a, a lower level heat. You can do a ceramic plate versus a titanium plate. So the system can be tweaked just up with how much you push it into the So if the somebody hair. wanted to do like a reg just a blowout, like no flat iron, they could still get like really smooth results yes. without having to go with a flat iron. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. I actually used to do that. I, I've done that numerous times. Yeah, like clients. skipping it. Yep, skipping we smooth it in with yeah. a blow dry. It still gives the results. It just doesn't penetrate as much. Oh, Remember because the heat, the heat activates it. It pushes it into the hair. Oh. Not necessarily activate. Activate would be like a chemical. So oh, it pushes okay. it into the hair. Okay, mm -hmm. so it settles it in there more yes. if you use so. a flat iron versus the blow dryer, it'll work, but it's not going to make the system last as long? Is that kind of, or not it, as well? I don't like saying that specifically, that it's like, oh, it won't work as well. It has a, it works differently. Oh, okay. So you might have a little more smoothness oh, with a flat iron versus okay. just blow drying it in. You might still get that manageability. Okay. But just think of it as like, for instance, toasting your bread. Oh, right, okay. you put that heat on, you want it more crunchy. Yeah. You want it higher heat. <laughs> no, but literally it's just the way it pushes it in. Okay, that yeah. makes sense, that yes. makes sense. Yes, ma'am. All right, cool. All right, let's do it. Now I do want to add this before y'all go off this video. 
a few of the questions that I got after posting this reel on Instagram the other day was how do you find someone, a stylist, a salon who offers this treatment? Unfortunately, there isn't like one directory or like a way to like mass search like in your area whether or not this treatment is available or like who does it. You literally have to just ask, like ask stylists whether or not they offer this service. And if they don't offer this service, encourage them to offer the service because the thing is a lot of us are turning back to relaxers and by no means am i telling you what to do or not do but there was a major health reason why relaxers were not a good idea they weren't a good idea back in the day and they aren't a good idea now again with risks all taken into account because i think before when people were getting relaxers, there was no awareness of the risks that come with relaxers. But now we're all a lot more aware and at the end of the day, do what you wanna do, but, I, but also like consenting to a chemical treatment where you're very well aware of the risks at hand and how to do it in a healthier way is always gonna be important when thinking about or going into getting relaxers again. I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely like, comment, subscribe, ask questions in the comments. I'm happy to answer anything that I can answer. If I can't answer them, I'll definitely reach out to Olivia for her to give us some like background or insight or extra context to this. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this video and see you on my next one. Bye.